In this video we will show you the new functionality available in version 9 for ordering jobs between different control M's. Until version 9, jobs could only be ordered or forced within their own control M data center using a do force job or utility CTM order. Control M version 9 includes a new feature that allows you to order jobs between different Control M data centers. It doesn't matter whether they are Windows, Unix or ZOS data centers. The only requirement is that the Control M server and Enterprise Manager are version 9 or higher. The new functionality is available from the Do Actions on the properties of a job. As we can see, depending on the result of our job, in this example ended OK, we can define the order of another job in a different Control M. To do this, select the name of the Control M data center, the table name, and the job name that should be ordered. There are two Control M EM system parameters that affect the behavior of the remote order. Do false auth determines whether the ordering user must be authorized in EM or the Control M data center, or it can be used to entirely disable this feature. Do force user with the default value of use job owner indicates that the job owner must be authorized in Control M Enterprise Manager to force the table. Based on the values given in the previous parameters, I will now check if the job owner permissions on the tables of my control M are correct. I select the user and then the folders tab and ensure it has full access to my folders. To demonstrate this feature, I will order a job in my Control M server, which after completion will order a second job on another data center. Currently, both Control M servers have zero jobs on their actor environment. So after I order my job, we see the first Control M server appear and the job is on the active environment and you can see there's a do action there that will order the new job when this job completes. So we free the job so it will start running and when it's finished it will order the second job and that causes the second data center to appear on the active environment with the second job that starts running. So we can see that it worked. We can also look at the job log. And there's a line there that specifies that a remote order has occurred. This concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please check our knowledge base or YouTube channel for more videos like this.